And that's, that's like the basic standard, hey, my dog doesn't pay attention to me and or my dog has some fearful confidence issues. If you have a dog that has fearful or confidence issues, that's the exercise you wanna do. Hello everybody and welcome back to the coolest dog training channel right here on YouTube. I'm Tom Davis, America's Canon Educator. If you're new here, hello, welcome to my channel. If you've been here for a while, thank you so much for joining me. Now today we have a very common case that we see all the time here at the facility. A dog with insecurity or fearful tendencies or behavior. And in this episode, I go over some really easy exercises for the dog and the owner to immediately gain confidence within each other. So as always, I hope this video is informative and it helps you with your dog at home. Don't forget, we're gonna be playing Tom's Trivia somewhere in the middle of this video and all you have to do is leave your answers in the comments below and let's see if you guys know your dog facts. Because basically what I like to do is your obedience is going to be your, <clears throat> your, your communication. So if your communication is not clear or there at all, like if you're like, hey, buddy, heal, and he goes, whoop, and he goes sit, and he's like, what? That's where we'll start. But, I mean, if he's good with that stuff, then I know I can gauge where we're at. So why don't you just do, do like basic obedience with him? I just want to see like where your relationship is with him. I just got off the phone with a, a lady from Australia. If you're having behavioral problems but you can't communicate, you know? It's like, it's like having a relationship with somebody on any level, boss, um, significant other, brother, sister, whatever, and you're, you're mad at each other, but you can't talk to each other. Like, we speak two different languages, and like, it's so frustrating. So he's, he's insecure because he doesn't know his job. He right. doesn't really know what to do. So let me see the leash and I want to work him for a second. All right, guys, time for Tom's trivia. Very simple question. All you guys have to do is answer yes or no in the comments below. Do dogs sweat or do they not? Leave your answers in the comments below. Good. So what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to give him a break and let him sniff around, which is totally okay to do. I'm not going to ask him to do anything. But I want to show you how to develop the relationship that I think you'd be more successful with outside. Okay. I, want, I want there to be a little bit more engagement. Because when you're walking with him, he's very nose to the ground. He's very... And, and that's fine. And that's the thing, too, is like when I say that... You, like, a dog, him, anybody's dog is doing these types of things, that's fine. But I also want you to be able to like switch gears and say like, pay attention to me. Because if he gets into an environment where he's like, oh crap, I'm really nervous, that's where he'll make a mistake. Yep. And you need to be able to say like, okay, this is what we're going to do. And right now, he's ha halfway or less with you. Like when you tell him to heal, he's walking nicely. But at the same exact time, like if you were to walk this way and then this way and say heal, he probably wouldn't like turn and go with you without the pop of the collar. Mm -hmm. okay. So the goal would be making sure that when you tell him to heal, he's like, okay, I know what that is. Because yep. it's hard for, for me and even you to decipher when you tell him heal, is he actually healing or is he just following you around? Right. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's... Good. Oh, I'm a professional dog handler. So I've been doing this for 11 years, seven days a week for... 12 to 14 hour days, I should be able to get to heal a dog around with a piece of string. But not everybody else is going to be able to do that with that amount of control, read body language, um, heal, etc. So we're going to have you guys continue to use the prong for more of a safety thing. It's tough. There, good. Good, good heal. Boy. There, now do it again. Just turn again. Good, good heal. Boy. And that's, that's like the basic standard hey, my dog doesn't pay attention to me and or my dog has some fearful confidence issues. If you have a dog that has fearful or confidence issues, that's the exercise you want to do. Hey, pay attention to me. Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. Okay, yeah, now I'm focused on you and we're moving together and that's what you want to do. Yeah. So I want you to do that again, but let me see him for one second. When he gets to... 
when he gets to the point where there was a couple times where you went out and he, he like, I don't know if he's going to do it for me, but he bounced like, like two exit steps. yeah. So when he was like there, that's where you pop him. You don't want to, you don't want to be here and then pull because yeah. it doesn't correct him. Okay. The prong collar is, it doesn't correct unless you pop it. Yeah. And it's just the, it's just, it's, it's all of those pressure points coming up at once to say, hey, pay attention. So if he pulls on like he could literally pull on it like this. He's pulling on it right now. Doesn't do anything. Doesn't affect him. Doesn't consequence him. Doesn't have any correction with him. He's pulling, pulling on it right now, and it doesn't, it's the pop that matters. Okay. And those prong collars come up in, in sync, and they go, hey. And he goes, oh, wait, wait. And you go, heel. And he goes, what the hell's heel? And then over five minutes, he's like, oh, this is heel. So make sure that like if he's there, you give him more of that like pop. Okay. Because he'll just keep pulling like he is now. So what I do is I have a four foot leash, always like a leather four foot leash. I, pu I put it here like this, okay? And then I'll just say, I'll just say the dog's name and then I'll say heel. Arrow heel, I'll move forward and I'll turn, heel. And then that quick pop. Now watch, heel, good. Now I'll do the same thing in the same location Heel, good. You see? Heel, good. And now I, now it's over. So I've taught him that when I turn, he's got to like really follow me. Heel. And that, that quick correction that you just saw, like, again, the, the prong collar is just intended to get the dog's attention faster. It's like if we had a horse and we didn't have head halties and things like that to get, get the horse, be able to put pressure on the horse where they want to escape it, it would be a nightmare. <laughs> I mean, imagine putting something on a dog and not being able to say like, I don't want you to move forward or being on the back of a horse riding up a mountain, falling off, breaking your face open or killing yourself. <laughs> like if you can't put pressure on an animal to help dictate their behavior, it's gonna be extremely hard for you to teach them new things once they've already gone past the, the, the learning stages, right? And so that's, that's what like when we use tools, so many people don't understand that they think that we're taking 10 week old puppies and, and whatever, putting tools on them and teaching things. No, 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 no. We're using tools to help break down behaviors that are pre existing that are causing your life turmoil or causing him potentially, you know, to be put in a shelter or something because he's not listening. So the tools are there to decompress and reinforce what we're trying to teach him now. They're not there to help us teach behaviors, they're there to help us reinforce what we're trying to say. So that's why like if we had a harness and I did this, he's like, what the, dude, what are you doing? With the prong, those prongs come up, they go, hey, he goes, whoop, and he comes with me. So that's the effective, the effective way to administrate that little thing. So that's what I want you to focus on. Take your leash, fold it halfway, and do that exercise to get him engaged with you. Break, good man. Thank you guys so much for joining me here today. If you haven't yet, don't forget, like, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, and let me know what you guys thought of this video, and I will talk to you next time. Peace.